Welcome back everyone to another Polygon Matic video. I hope everyone enjoyed the holidays and Happy New Year to you all, but it is now time to get back to work. So today we are going to be discussing the amazing year Polygon had in 2021 and then we will be covering the current price action of Matic. And if my voice sounds a little bit funny, I did catch the you know what virus over the holidays, but bear with me here as we have a lot to talk about. So if you do enjoy staying up to date with everything Polygon and crypto related, make sure that you are subscribed so you never miss out. Consider following me on Twitter where I post daily information around the Polygon ecosystem at NARB Trading. Gently tap on that like button and let's get right into it. So the first thing that I want to go over is a tweet here from Mihailo, which touches on the insanely successful year that Polygon has experienced. He says, Dear Polygon fam, in 2021, we achieved a lot. 100 million plus wallets, 3K plus apps, 1 billion plus transactions, 6 new solutions including SDK, Avail, Hermes, Nightfall, Maiden, and Zero, top Web3 names, Uniswap, Aave, OpenSea, and more, and big brands, Dolce & Cabana, NFL, Macy's, and of course more. Happy New Year, let's keep the magic going. So I'm sure most of you are well aware of the incredible growth within Polygon in 2021. We have talked about it many times throughout the year and it's crazy to see how much has changed in such a short period of time. But I really want to paint the picture here for you all and go over where things were on January 1st of 2021 compared to today. So moving over here to Polygon Scan, this is the active addresses chart for each and every day. And one year ago on January 1st, you can see there was just 759 active addresses. Now typically today we are seeing around 300 to 400,000 each day, but there was a sudden spike here on January 3rd of over 500,000 active addresses, which is the highest that we've seen since October. Then next up, we have daily transactions, which on January 1st, 2021, the POS chain executed about 34,000. Fast forward to today, 4.5 million transactions executed in a single day. Quite impressive if you ask me. And then the last chart that I want to show you all from Polygon Scan is the total unique addresses. Starting the year off with 127,000 and now around 130 million. So again, we've went over this many times before and not to mention all of the dApps, scaling solutions, and major brand partnerships on top of all this. But obviously, it has been a crazy year for Polygon, and the best part is, this is all truly just getting started. In 2022, I'm sure there will be even more growth, and we're likely to see multiple rollups going live as well. But then moving on to the next thing that I want to go over for today is the NFT growth in 2021. So this is the Dune Analytics OpenSea Polygon page, and Polygon actually broke two new records in the final month of this year. The monthly volume for Polygon in the month of December ended at 70 $56 million worth of sales, which beat the previous record by a long shot of $59 million in November. And then the next record breaker here, monthly NFTs sold just under $2 million in December, with the previous record being $1.2 million. So actually almost doubled the previous November record, showing us that, again, adoption everywhere within the Polygon ecosystem is surging, making new record highs and experiencing incredible amounts of growth. And as you can see here, the amount of NFTs sold on Polygon in July was under 50,000. So just lots of amazing things happening here with NFTs as well. And then the final thing that I want to quickly go over here regarding the incredible year that Polygon has had is a new blog post from Polygon called 2021 Rewind, which just very briefly touches on some of the major things that happened on a month by month basis inside the year of 2021. And starting here with January, Avegachi chooses Polygon to power its DeFi staked NFT ecosystem. Then in February, they made the rebrand of Matic Network to Polygon with a mission to become the premier scaling solution for Ethereum, which ended up being a huge driver for all of Polygon's success. And then in March, Tesla's Elon Musk jumping into the NFT fray minting a tweet on Valuables, a Polygon-powered platform operated by Cent. Twitter founder and then CEO Jack Dorsey sells an NFT of the first ever tweet for 2.9 million on Valuables. And then the number of unique addresses on Polygon POS tops 200,000 and daily transactions tops 300,000. And it's kind of fun to look at these numbers and see how different they were compared to now and this is only just nine months ago. As we just discussed, now the unique addresses are well over 100 million and daily transactions are around 4 million today. 
But then moving on to April, Curve launches on Polygon, Ave goes live on Polygon, and Decentraland, a 3D virtual world platform, chooses Polygon as its scaling solution. In May, SushiSwap goes live on Polygon. The reveal of Polygon SDK, a go-to framework for building Ethereum-compatible blockchains, sidechains, and general scaling solutions. Polygon blockchain dataset is made available in Google BigQuery. And of course, Mark Cuban, a legendary investor in one of the sharks on ABC's Shark Tank, invests in Polygon. And he has been a very big proponent of what Polygon has been doing, and rightfully so. Now in June, the announcement of Polygon Avail, a general purpose, scalable data availability solution. Sandbox, a metaverse project where players can play, build, own, and monetize their virtual experiences, choosing Polygon as a scaling solution. OpenSea, the world's biggest NFT marketplace, integrates with Polygon, and in the month of June, daily transactions of the Polygon POS chain reach a record of 9 million. This was at the time of a major increase in Ethereum gas fees, and this was also prior to Polygon raising their gas fees to fight bot spam. Then in July, Balancer, a decentralized asset management platform, goes live on Polygon. Then the launch of Polygon Studios, a Web3 gaming and NFT arm. In August, Hermes Network joins Polygon to accelerate development of a zero-knowledge Ethereum virtual machine. They then go on to establish that $1 billion strategic fund dedicated to ZK-related efforts. Now this to me was one of the biggest and most important things that Polygon did. This billion dollar fund towards ZK Tech really changed the game and started to show everyone what Polygon's real goals were. It showed everyone that they are truly not just the POS chain and are putting their money where their mouth is and really making that push towards being a so-called true layer two. But moving on to September, Coinbase announces plans to integrate Polygon POS as their first scaling solution. Still waiting for this integration to happen, hopefully coming soon. Dharma, an Ethereum wallet that lets users invest in DeFi with US dollars goes live on Polygon. Teaming up with EY to co-develop Polygon Nightfall, a privacy-focused scaling solution aimed at enterprises. Mina Protocol comes to Polygon to enable privacy-preserving applications. October, DraftKings announces plans to build an NFT marketplace on Polygon. The number of dApps developing on Polygon reaches 3,000 from just 30 a year earlier. And then the Polygon POS chain unique addresses count crosses 100 million. So October was certainly a big month for milestones for the Polygon ecosystem. November, they welcome Maiden, the Stark-based EVM compatible rollup, adding onto this list of solutions with that ZK fund. And lastly, the final month of 2021 in December, Recur taps Polygon as the official blockchain partner for primary minting, the announcement of a $400 million deal with pioneering ZK startup Mir, and the creation of Polygon Zero, the launch of a $200 million initiative with Alex Ohanian 776 to back projects at the intersection of social media and Web3, and then finally, Uniswap comes to Polygon, all V3 contracts go live on Polygon POS mainnet. So month after month, the big news has continued to roll in. Of course, there were many other things as well, but these are just some of the big announcements and achievements that were made. But what a year to say the least. I am of course even more excited to see what's coming in 2022. One of the things that we do know is coming is EIP 1559, which will introduce burning of the Matic tokens. And then of course, we will also likely see some of the rollups going live soon as well. But those were the updates that I wanted to quickly touch on and give everyone a good look inside Polygon's insane success over the last year. But now let's go ahead and take a look at something else that has been showing lots of strength, which is the Matic token. So Matic today is currently hovering around $2.48, which is actually a really good look when you compare it to the rest of the market as the rest of the market is looking very weak. And as we move on over to the Matic daily chart, you can see the price stabilizing around this $2.45 area. This was the previous high zone and is now trying to use this as the newest level of support. But while I've been away for the holidays, Matic did reach a brand new all-time high. I know many of you have been waiting on this for what seems like a very long time, but we finally did get that new all-time high and all it took was a little bit of patience. Keeping that long-term mindset is so important. If you get too caught up in the short term, you might have sold during one of these pullbacks. And that is exactly why we talk so often about zooming out and always looking at the bigger picture. And speaking of the bigger picture, I also wanted to point out the monthly time frame as the month of 
December did end up closing its highest month ever. It closed the month around $2.50 and this chart continues to look very, very bullish. And again, at the moment, really for the past few months, the crypto market as a whole has not shown a lot of strength. But Matic has been grinding its way up and even reaching that new all-time high, which is certainly something that most other tokens are not doing right now. But as we know, a lot of Matic's bullishness moving forward will depend on Bitcoin and Ethereum, and Bitcoin is still not looking very bullish in the short term. BTC really has not been showing any strength since early November, but it is at least stabilizing a bit in the mid 40,000s. And then we have ETH. ETH is looking a little bit better than Bitcoin, but is still holding this downtrend. But if we do start to see a bottom hit for BTC and ETH and they start to rebound here, it would not surprise me to see Matic shoot back up to those all time highs. Again, Matic is just looking incredibly strong right now, holding an uptrend while everything else is looking weak, and there really isn't any reason to think that this won't continue, especially if the big players start to bounce. But other than that, folks, it has been one heck of a year for the Polygon ecosystem and the Matic token. Growth from everywhere you look, and it doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. And that is going to be it for the very first video of 2022. I thank you all so much for all of your support throughout the past year. Make sure that you are subscribed so you're never missing out. Leave a like, it really helps me out. I will see you all next time.